Oh, shit. Last time that happened, I actually called the freaking police. It's like, squeeze my phone. <laughs> oh my god, I know. My mom called me the other day. She's like, I just called 911. I was like, what happened? Just an accident? I'm like, you gotta be careful. Yeah, <laughs> I... Show up. Did not realize how much it squeezed the sides yeah. and i'm like emergency services excuse yeah, me i most definitely did not i was trying really hard i did that a couple times um. so are the last couple sets they were not duck nails they were just no, like there's square? no one else that does duck nails okay that's what i like to hear I was going because it's like close to my house, but uh, mm -hmm. just like it's okay. Right. Was it a nail salon? Just like place? A shop. Ah, there's a problem. Yeah, I know. I there's a problem. That's okay. We're gonna hook it up. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, it's really funny. I don't know if you've been seeing online, but like, there's a lot of people online mm -hmm. that do duck nails, but they're like really like long and skinny. Like they almost yeah. look squarish. Yeah. And yeah. I'm just like. Huh. And like the very end it like flares a little bit just a little bit song. yeah it's kind of crazy because i have a client she sent me like a photo mm -hmm. and she was like are these like duckies and i'm like clearly not yeah like, uh, no they're not and sure enough i read the caption and it was like "Ooh, duckies oh and i was like oh well there's no real flare there but yeah okay people get like scared of committing <laughs> i think so of like the actual duck and then also too like duck nails they're like curved tip and everyone is like really like anti yeah I love that it. right now so it's like uh you know oh what's up you guys so she wants some black duckies so we're gonna make that happen i might actually size this down they're like really coming back right now the duck nails yeah it's crazy yeah. i don't know very many people that wear them like in real life no i never seen people with them but online. online yeah yeah most definitely definitely online there i think so i don't know how many people really realistically wear them in real life but yeah um so yeah we're gonna leave her pinkies alone if you guys are wondering why i'm not because she has some problems okay but she can't wait she can't wait if you guys need like really really in-depth like super help on doing duck nails i have a couple videos on my channel already they have a lot of tips and tricks and all that good stuff um yeah this is gonna be cute i haven't done any black ones yet yeah that's cute i never i don't think i've ever seen black ones mm, yeah no not really hello albert oh <laughs> definitely not Oh, I do have an Amazon storefront and they do link these exact tips. They come in, this is natural colored and they do come in clear. I will say, um, depending on when you look and try and order and stuff, you might have to go with one versus the other. Just cause like, you know, depending on what's available on Amazon. So yeah, a lot of people ask me, where do I get my tips? I get only duck tips on Amazon. Regular tips, I go to the supply. Peaches run to crumble because the churro and chocolate cookie and cream is popping. You know I don't like white chocolate chips. But the churro, I think I've had before. So, yeah, I will be going later. Sometime. Ooh, these are going to be so cute. Oh, so and she's thinking about maybe getting a little charm. So, we're going to see about that. There's a lot of people in Sacramento that do the charms either. Oh really? You know, it's like boring. I mean, I guess some people know. Yeah, but, but like, in real life, I yeah, I guess. That's oh true. yeah, online it's like a huge thing. Yeah, but like out here, I think the thing is, I see a lot of people out here that get French tips, which French tips are cute, but like most of the girls out here, mm -hmm. definitely some sort of French tips. You see, a lot, super long French charms. Eh. Maybe like one here and there. Mm -hmm. She said, girl, you can't even taste the white chocolate chips. Okay, well, that's what we're going to hope for. Because you know I don't like them, so. I don't like them at all. Uh-uh, 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 okay. Uh-uh, uh-uh. 
So have you been looking at like a lot of duck sets online? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like I follow a lot of like nail pages on Instagram. Mm-hmm. So which pages do you kind of like follow? Because I mean, like we talked about, a lot of people are doing like just the barely there flare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to where they're just like super long, straight, and like it kind of just looks like they forgot to shape the ends a little bit, yeah. rather than like yeah, exactly. It's like really hard to tell. Yeah, I feel like mostly like a lot of LA. Like, okay. Down there, it's like super. People are just like not as yeah. afraid to do. Weird right. down there. Like a traditional. Mm -hmm. Traditional. Okay. Oh no, I have enough. Okay. I love this black. This is like the darkest black acrylic I have ever used in my life. And the liquid is going to be Young Nails. That's all I use. And my brush is a size 20. And everybody asks me, Hi Genesis, everybody asks me, where do I get my nail brush? Y'all, I do not order a nail brush online. I don't, I like to feel my stuff, see my stuff. Go to a nail supply. If you don't have one near you, then I apologize. You are missing out. And Young Nails Primer. And that's what we're gonna work with. Okay. Ah, maybe we should shape them. <laughs> oh my God, I knew I was missing something. <laughs> A whole step. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, you guys, with duck nails, you really, the less you shape, the better. Because you don't want to take away. So that's like my biggest advice. I personally don't like taking away the flare. Um, if you file too much during this step, you will accidentally take it away. And you'll end up with maybe like possibly uneven length. But honestly, it's kind of hard for them to be uneven because like they all fit the nails pretty similarly. So they're all going to be similar length. So I already like measured the other hand. You can see they're already like all the same. So we're just going to make sure they fit the right way. And then if your tips fit, because like duck nails run small. So, like, you're going to have to use larger sizes on nails you normally would not. So, that way you can get a good fit sidewall to sidewall. So, that's going to be the hardest part. But other than that, it ain't too hard. Not bad. And then for the thumb, I do have, like, videos explaining none, no sizes pretty much fit the thumb on those people. So, you'll just make up for it with acrylic like you would a club nail, basically. Okay. So, like, what type of sets have you been seeing that's like catching your eye? Um, I think I'm always doing like junk sets. Yeah. It's like hella extra ones. It's like bored of everything else. Oh, uh, yeah. I agree. Fine, Joe. Uh -huh. Do you do any, like, a lot of duck sets? Uh, you know what? The past couple months, I've done more than. Mm -hmm. I have. I think a lot of people. It takes some time to think about it. Yeah, definitely. Like every now and then they'll mention like, oh, like or they'll see my nails like, oh, that's really cute. And I'm like, yeah, you can give it a try. I'm like, oh, uh, maybe next time. Like it's like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then eventually they'll come around and be like, wow. I feel like once you see a cute pair, <laughs> right? Everything. I'm gonna be like so ugly. A nicely shaped. It's really the shape of it. Yeah, the shape is so important. Because a lot of them can look like marshmallows at this length. So. It's not what we're going for. Okay, shaping done. You see that? You don't need a lot. You're going to shape later anyways. So, you guys, I'm actually doing another duck set later on today. So, I'll do like a regular video of that. Damn, I'm still getting steps. 
But I think that one's going to be shorter. Matter of fact. Actually, she booked the appointment and I don't know. She thought she booked for a different day, but she texted. She's like, oh, I'm here. And I'm like, uh, ma'am, I do not have an appointment right now. So that was two days ago. So I think she came on the wrong day. So we're going to hope that she does still come to me. Sometimes when people come on the wrong day, they just like, oh, well, I don't need the appointment anymore because I need it that day. So we'll see. Okay, prepped and prime. Okay, now. Oh my, shot it. Oh. Woo. Mm -mm. This is so, it's so dark black. If you struggle with black acrylic, I have videos for that too. It can be tricky. I understand. When's the last time you had black nails? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't have it like years. Oh, I was like 15 or something. Yeah. yeah. Really, I never get black nails. Yeah. It'd be nice and crisp. I actually like it. I think it's cute. I like always do pink. I'm like, I need to. Do right? Something else. I always do pink. So you're going to want to check underneath a lot because black stains. I don't want that shit under there. But yeah, once you get it to like the consistency that you like, it's going to be way easier to work with. So like the trick is just not to work with it super runny. want the complete opposite of pink. <laughs> oh, these are gonna be so crispy and cute. Mm -hmm. Look a little cute with like pink charms. Mm -hmm. Um. Pretty nails. All right. So like, just be patient. You really like to work with black. You need like, number one a good black acrylic. They're not all made the same. Some suck. And then have a little patience and just you know, it's really just the texture you need. Don't be afraid to get in the cuticle area because like, if you don't get close enough, when you go to file, you will be missing product and it's not going to be fun to fix. So I don't have like a lot of black acrylic, so I'm kind of using my speed, my beads like sparingly, instead of like being as generous as normal, because I don't want to accidentally run out. So. Which brand black is that? I'm never buy another. Wait, I need to buy another black. This one's from Hey Beautiful, but almost out. Oh, I only use not polished colors, so any colors that I use is gonna be not polished. Um, 
so duck nails they're not like hard to do they have like an increased surface area which automatically makes them they have more strength than all the other shapes because there's more surface area so yeah it's really just how you like i pat my beads so i kind of just pat it to spread it out and then i just drag it down and that's how i avoid going back and forth so much to get to the end they told guys on us it's goofy What's your name? My name Nick. New York and Indian. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Ah! Nick and Nick. Baby. No. No. Crazy. You don't want it to like be too wide, so just make sure you get the excess. You just want to make sure you tuck your cuticles really well because otherwise they're going to look really humpty lumpty. They won't look, I guess, natural, you could say. Okay, thanks. I wanted to try not polish. Yeah, you should. If they sell them in your local nail supply, that's even better because my nail supply sells them cheaper than the actual website. So, that's a plus because otherwise, some of these colors go for like 20 a jar. But some nail supplies sell them for like 15 a jar. Or even like 11 a jar. So. So you want to make sure you kind of like, you know, wipe your brush off. I don't know. I don't want to say often, often, but like, you just don't want to transfer heck of random product everywhere because it's going to stain the skin through the process. Like, it'll be fine in the end and like when they eventually like go home and stuff, but it can just be a pain for pictures. Which is why I'm being so careful and why this takes longer than normal. Because I want nice pictures by the end. Me too. So you can see like from the side, the structure. so if you have trouble with black it's most likely the <clears throat> like the liquid to powder ratio that you're using because it's different like all colors ain't the same i'm gonna go back on this one because it's kind of thin
Like it self levels a lot as well. So you kind of need like thicker beads because like you can see it flattens out quickly and a good amount, so. Which is why you might find yourself going back because once it like levels down all the way, it's gonna look different from when you first built the nail. Why is the end of the fingernail so much whiter than normal? It looks like a white tail because it's a duck nail. I don't know, you must have clicked on the video, but you didn't read the title. <laughs> First, I thought she was talking about your pinky nail. Is <laughs> like, why isn't there a nail? <laughs> no, just completely ignored the title. That's really funny. Sometimes people be leaving some interesting comments. Some people like don't think. Yeah, well, read. <laughs> I was doing like acrylic toes on someone, and the person was like, How is she gonna climb trees? And I was like, Why would she be doing that? And barefoot at that. It's like the last thing to be working Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Climbing the trees? Climb like, a lot of trees? Like, yeah, I don't know. These are grown women. Is that thing you do? <laughs> yeah, I don't think any of them has probably climbed trees in at least 10 years. <laughs> yeah, barefoot. Exactly, and I don't think that she would be getting these if she was going to climb trees. So. Someone, she asked, who's doing a, like a set of long nails? She was like, how's she going to itch her ass? Oh my god. <laughs> Why would she be just itching it? I don't know. I don't get the like fascination with that. Like how do you wipe? I don't like anybody else. I don't understand that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty interesting because if someone had long natural nails, they would say, wow, look at how you grew them. Yeah, literally. But if they're fake, like maybe people should just say like, well, these are my real nails. And then they'll be like, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Like there's such a separation. Mm -hmm. Was this like the length that you were getting for a while at the shop? Yeah. Yeah. Every time I like ask for long, it's never like that long. No. Unfortunately. Then they cut one and then I'm like, okay, well, yep. you just cut Yeah, it. you've done <laughs> it. Yeah, go back. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Sometimes you can be a bit rude. Oh, well. I guess. I don't know. I don't find myself being rude. But okay. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Um, but I don't feel like talking about comments that are completely not serious is rude. But to each their own opinion. Uh, dang, I forgot what I was about to say. Dang. Oh, were you getting plain color over there too? Yeah. Pink. Yeah, color. The last it was like hot pink. There yeah. You. Did you feel like they were at least shaped good? Yeah, they were like, they were not like bad. Okay. I've had like a lot. I've gotten like four nails. Right. So they were, it's like the most decent shop I've been to. Yeah. Um, but I like, I was like kind of rude and just weird. <laughs> right. Someone said, I've never seen you be rude, SMH. Oh, thank you. I don't think I'm a rude either. You should see some of the comments and things people be saying to me. Well, at least you didn't have like a horrible experience there. At least it was like decent. Yeah, it was. Cause it's like, it's one thing to like, all right, I went to you, now my nails are all messed up. And it's another to like, okay, you were rude and my nails are messed yeah, up. Like, no, it's just the, the double. Okay, see this, this is what you don't want. That, all that flooding, you gotta get rid of that. <clears throat> Otherwise your nails will pop off. She said, girl, that's social media. Right. I know everyone. How do you do this? How do you do that? Oh, I don't know. Which is crazy because there's so many, oh, so much like long nails on line. You would think that people would no longer think that way, but no, they do. I had an older lady. I was in a freaking like Dollar Tree or 99 cent store. 
I'm minding my business, and like, she's like, damn, how do you wipe your ass? <laughs> Man, everybody was like looking around. I was like, girl, the same toilet paper that you use. That's how I wipe. Like she was really, she was just walking through the, like past all the checkout counters. I'm like, now, now how did you see my hands? She said a heck of a lot. I was like, okay, thank you. I'm glad I'm not a person that gets embarrassed easily. <laughs> Shoot, that could have been the end of the day for me. I could have went home. Uh-uh. Do you know anyone else that would wear duck shape? No, I don't <laughs> think so. I feel like I don't know people. I don't know. I always get like a lot of comments on them and they're usually good, but I feel like sometimes people in their head are like not into it. Yeah. I just don't want to say it. I think because anytime I wear them, there are a lot of com Oh, see, now I did get complimented at a gas station once mm -hmm. by the lady inside. I was, like, buying some chips, and she was like, oh, those are cute. Like, I try to get duck nails, but that is not what the lady gave me. Yeah. And I was going to give her a business card and everything, but I had some panties in my purse, and everything was hooked to them. So there's panties spilling out of my bag, and oh, people no. was in line behind me, and I was like, okay. Not today. I don't think it's meant for her to be a customer <laughs> because I'm like, hey. Angela said, I love duck nails. Me too, boo. They're just so great. It's just like such a throwback. It was like such a time when yeah. duck nails were like popular. Right. Ah. Make sure you get rid of any little, any little black that gets under here you want to get rid of. Even if it's like not a lot. Because like sometimes when you go to like file it away then it makes all these weird scratch marks and that's not i don't want that so okay okay no so for those of you guys because there's like a decent amount of people in here um i have one more duck set later today so I will probably be doing just like a standard YouTube video on that. So if you're not subscribed, I suggest that you do. So that way you don't miss um, like when I upload it. Because I'll probably be uploading it either tonight or tomorrow. I don't know. My homegirl said that there's a, um, a late night skate night somewhere. So I don't know. I might be going skating later. But just so y'all know. For those who like watching duck nails. Cute. So what kind of charm do you think you want? I don't know. I said the letters. I know, I was thinking of letters, but I don't know. They're cute. They're like juicy. They're like bling, like um big bling letters. Yeah. Yeah, they're really cute. Have like um more golden ones and then the other ones are like more silver toned, I guess. Yeah, I'm definitely a silver. Uh, I got, I found like this girl a while ago that did junk nails uh -huh. for winter. Uh huh. And they were really cute, but they literally popped off like two or three days later. Like the nails or the charm? The nails. Like oh. the entire, all, like all the nails started falling off. Dang. And I like went over there and I was like in her garage. Okay. It was like really hot and like not air conditioned. I was like, oh no. Oh. <laughs> She's like, oh. Like, not licensed. Yeah. Um, they're cute, but yeah, no, they're good. What was like the theme or the color to the set? They were like pink with just like a bunch of charms. Mm -hmm. They were like cheap, but I don't know. They just did not, did not do it. <laughs> I was like, how old are you? She was like, like 17. And I was like, oh, my oh. God. <laughs> it's a <like>, girl. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> you know what? I was talking to somebody about that, and I feel like. Um, underage text should definitely put that like hey high school or hey yeah right. like something just simply because someone did tell me like she went to someone she didn't realize the girl was underage and so her mom was like like don't forget about your homework or something and she realized they were talking about boyfriends and sex positions oh, and no. then she's like yeah I found out she's 16 and she's oh, like God, no. yeah because her mom came. I was like damn that's hella awkward she's like yeah I'm only 19 but I still felt like it was weird because like you're under 18 and I I don't know. I feel like someone could call the police on. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like, For having like advanced boyfriend talk. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So like, if I would have known, I would have been asking her how's her homework. Like, what grade are you in? No, 
I feel like you should get the option to like no plus two some of them like their schedules and stuff like you know with homework and friends and stuff mm -hmm. some of them like they can't be really that serious yet so for people who are like religiously get their nails done i feel like that's something you would want to know like Woo. okay one hand down so um also if if you're like newer in here or just popped in the color is not polished black and then yeah that hand it takes a while because like i don't want to stain nothing because i want cute pictures and if you stain their fingers the picture is not gonna be as cute okay so and honestly i got nothing but time well i mean i don't have nothing but time what are you? it's 222 so it has not been even an hour so i have like probably like a whole nother hour till the next person comes so i don't have to be rushing my life away which is actually nice Mm -mm. Have you ever been to like an old lady nail tech? Mm, I don't think so. Mm -mm. I mean, maybe in the nail shop, but I would say that's more like 30s. Yeah. Not like. Yeah. You're saying it guys. I don't know. For whatever reason. The place yeah. that I went to, there's like only one guy who can do long nails. Huh. And so when I scheduled it, I like didn't say anything because I didn't know that like, you know what I mean? You yeah. Just go in, um, and they were like, they got a little weird, and I was like, okay, sorry, I didn't know. I had to like, there's like eight texts, only one of you does long nails. Like what? <laughs> right. That's crazy because people swear like, oh the guy, it's the guy in the shop that's like so good. But I used to go to this guy like when I used to go to shops, me and him did not get along because I felt like he kind of sucked. Mm -hmm. And. I used to get glitter polish a lot and I felt like he was so like skimpy with it. I'm like, dude, this is, my nails look completely clear with splotches of glitter. Yeah. We'd go back and forth all the time. I'm like, so anytime we would get matched with each other, we would just kind of like roll our eyes. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like I don't know why y'all keep putting him with me. And then I have to tell him like, can you polish it good or like glittery? <laughs> so I don't know my experience. I've had one dude who was good. He was young. Now he's got like a plain stiletto red set, but I was like, you know what? He painted that polish. I'll say that. But other than that, mm -mm. my favorite person back when I used to go to the shop, there was this lady, her name was like Heidi or something like that. And she really wasn't the best, but if I told her long or I want the full tip, she will not cut it short. She'll keep it that way. And she would do all my fixes for free. So I'm like, you know what? You're not technically the best, but that counts for something. Yeah. Like, at least you listen to me. I know the length thing. I just, like, can't. I, like, can't do them. Like, I want them long. And they're like, cut them so short. They will cut them shorter than this. Yeah. When I used to go. I'm just like, great. So annoying. That was, like, my ultimate pet peeve. And then she was gone. I just came in there one day. I'm like, yeah, okay, where's Heidi? Oh, she doesn't work here anymore. I'm like, well, where does she work? Oh, we don't know. I'm like great thanks a lot <laughs> he's gonna be hecka cute Look, this is literally my favorite black acrylic it's so freaking dark Okay, guys, we're almost there. We're about to shape and see about some charms. You're going to make sure you have, like, a good structure, though. Like, you don't need heck acrylic because, like, I don't know. That shape, it's like the shape gives it, the way the acrylic is actually laid, it's stronger than all the other shapes. But, like, you still need to have, like, a proper apex and stuff like that so keep that in mind here we go Hold it. Uh, she gonna break the pain Mm 
Mm-hmm. Do any of your friends get their nails done? Um, yeah. I have, like, one friend who gets her nails done. What does she get? Um, she... I guess it kind of depends. She's, like, coffin, just plain color. Uh-huh. She goes to shop, so she goes to, like, one shop. Pretty much consistently, and I went there one time, but it was not impressed <laughs> at all. They did a good job, but like cut them too short, and then I yeah. asked for a square, and then they're like kind of coffiny, yeah. which I hate. Like I just like I'm not a fan of the coffin yeah. for myself, and so when they like file down too much, I'm always like watching, like right. Thank you. Thank. It's like almost like your body just clenches. Like no, literally. <laughs> Damn. What length does she get? How long. Oh, okay. Yeah. She went there and she got a cute set, but they charged her like a lot. Like for it was just it was like pink glitter with like some like little lines. I don't know how to describe it, mm-hmm. but it was like really expensive for what it was. What area? Um, I don't know where it is honestly. It's like I say like South Sac. Oh, huh. Totally making up them. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, there are a couple out there that they do charge a lot, and their quality is. Yeah. Ten or miss. I have a couple names in mind, so it could be <laughs> either one of those. Mm-hmm. She's like always like telling me to go there. I'm like, ah, I'm good. <laughs> right. Yeah. There's a couple places that when I hear that name, I'm like, oh. Okay. Like, this makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. 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 Anyone else wants black after you? They're going to be out of freaking luck. <laughs> thinking about what I want to eat today. I'm like not hella hungry, but I know I will be. Yeah, I'm going to do like, <laughs> I like forget to eat. It's so late. Do you eat out a lot or are you like a cooker? I, I mean, I cook a lot, but I, I've been eating a lot lately because I just like, don't want to like clean up after. Right. <laughs> Like her dishwasher's broken, so it's just Damn like, you. I hate hand-washing dishes. Like, I just, like, despise it. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Have you gone to, like, restaurants or just, like, quick? Um, I've been going to, like, both. I need to, like, stop eating out at so many restaurants, though, because it's, like, so expensive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, there's a really good ramen place I've been going to downtown. Mm-hmm. Fire, just really expensive. Yeah. Like I was in getting like drinks and then it's like <laughs> right. yeah. I've never been to like an actual ramen place. There's some good ones in Sac. That's what I heard. I heard there's like two or three downtown mm-hmm. that are really good. But I can never re- remember the names. But I heard that they're like I don't want to say like near each other, but like kind of. There's like a lot now. I think there's a lot opening. Yeah. Kind of trendy. True. What type of stuff do you cook when you do cook? Um, I make like a lot of like pasta, I eat so much pasta, like tacos and stuff. Mm-hmm. I make, like a lot of pasta and like chill. I need to like eat more vegetables, <laughs> eat healthier. I eat so many carbs. Oh, see now you can just toss all the vegetables in the pasta noodles. I know, I do and that too. Jam. It's just like the like bread and like it's true. It's so bad. Mm-mm-mm. Pasta is good though. I'm not even gonna lie. I am a pasta person. Mm-hmm. I'm just really picky. Like, if I eat out, I'm kind of picky at where I get it from. Because I don't know. I feel like some places it's like, you know what? That wasn't really that great. Or like, if the sauce is like super bland. Mm-hmm. And like, it's so easy and cheap to make at home that I'm like, True. I'm not gonna spend like. True. Um, yeah, I'm picky where I get out too. Are you Alfredo, pesto, or. Red sauce. I'm usually pesto. Oh. I like pesto, but I'll do like any of them. Okay. Usually not Alfredo. Sometimes. I'm an Alfredo person. Mm-hmm. I like Alfredo with like some like pesto sauce. Yeah. And I actually like mayo sauce. Mm-hmm. Like I'll mix it up with like some other stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alfredo is good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
Yeah, that's fire. Do you like seafood pasta or are you more like a chicken pasta? Um, this depends. I'll eat that with seafood though. I'm not a huge fan of it. Yeah. Kind of sometimes it depends. Yeah. I love using that polish black. Me too. They have a super good formula. Like once. Uh, let me fill this in. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, we're getting down to it. Mm -hmm. Like I did. I cannot wait to shape these. <laughs> really cute. Yes. Like I don't know if I've ever seen black duck chips. Mm, yeah. It's not it's not very common. I think when people think duck nails, I feel like they think they have to go with like a certain aesthetic that they keep seeing, but I'm like it's just the shape. Yeah. It's like annoying. you can just definitely have whatever set you want. <laughs> Yeah, usually it's like the Y2K. Yeah. It's like, a lot of like French chips, which is cute. Yeah. It's just. What? Oh, dang. I picked up a hard piece. I hate when that happened. Um, yeah, I think people kind of get sucked into the social media thing and like just go with what you like. It doesn't have to be like. It's not like a freaking Y2K shape, like to where it's exclusive to those designs. Yeah. I like the friendship, but, like, that's all I used to get, so I'm trying to, right. like, it's all, literally, like, the only thing I would get, because it's cute, and, like, I just put it right to something else. Yeah, especially when they're nicely done. Yeah. Since I used the Red Lotus yesterday, it works just like the black. All delicious. These are super bold, love. Thank you. Yeah, I would say, like, this is a good formula for black, but... If I was using a color like on a normal basis, this wouldn't be the typical like, this wouldn't be like, I don't say texture, but like, you know what I mean? It's not how I would normally work. But black is a tricky color. So like for black, this is like ideal texture or whatever you want to call it. Mm -mm your bread ratio yeah but like there's a word yeah bead ratio but there's like a word for for it like this is the exact bead ratio i would use like this is the exact amount of liquid to powder i would use but like how the black reacts to it this is not normally how regular colors would react so like i wouldn't prefer this I wouldn't prefer it to like react this way, but for black, this is like my exact preference, if that makes sense. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I need to move some of this. She said, okay, yes, yeah. Like, you know what I'm talking about, Like I don't know how to put that in words exactly, but you know what I mean. Someone's gonna get that next spatula. Right there. So this is the last nail, you guys, and then we're about to shape. Which is the easiest part. Like, honestly, duck nails, all of it is easy. I'm just using like a more difficult color to work with, so it's like slower process a little bit. So I can make sure I don't do any like unnecessary staining. I can't wait to get monomer. I've been wanting to do this look so bad. Hopefully it works out. Oh, set. Is that not what I said? Oh, look, set, look, okay. Same difference. 
Dum, 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 dum. Like. So if you're a person who like does a lot of like, you know, swiping like this, with duck nails, you're gonna wanna learn how to like pat and, and pull rather than swipe. Cause you need all the product to come down like in one like gathered like one even layer there we go because otherwise that will make it difficult that'll be a nightmare if not because the last thing you want to do is have a bunch of different levels drawing differently and then you still have to like spread it out to maintain the shape that's not fun i gotta go get it i gotta go get it i gotta go get it i gotta go damn i'm definitely getting my period like at this moment <laughs> like at this moment Damn. Like, you know, when you just like. Mm, yeah. No. I, I don't know how. Well, is, there's not a word for that feeling. I feel like we all know what. I don't fucking know. Like, like once you get past being like 16 or 17 or something, like, it's like you just know. Like, you sense it. Yeah, it's like a creeping up mm -hmm. feeling. But luckily today I was kind of prepared. But like, I don't know. It's like a feeling of, yep, there it is, yep, there it is, right there. But I can't prepare it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Freaked it. I freaked it. I have like a really bad craving for like sweets, dude. Mm -hmm. I just called her sweets on my period. Girl, I'm gonna tell ya. It's like overall. Just like hella random shit. But I need like real food first. Alright, y'all, that's the last, this is the last B. See, now I'm swiping the excess away because I really just wanted it for like that middle area. So, bam. Okay, bam. That's the second hand. So, we are going to out. We're going to shake, shake, shake. So if you've seen my other videos on shaping and filing, I like to do this first finished file with the e-file because you debulk a lot of stuff and then when you go and like do your actual shaping, you don't have to worry about shaping through excessive thickness. I've seen Tulip Nail Supply Sales not polish black for $14. Yeah, Tulip is like near me out in like San Jose or something, I think. But then like paying, yeah. They, but I will be honest, I bought colors from Tulip in the past and like during pandemic and I'm going to be honest, they swatches did not match their colors at all. Like I bought a bunch of glow colors and a lot of their swatches wasn't correct. Like I bought Candy Crush thinking it was a red glow color and honestly it's not. So just beware with that. I don't know if they fix that. I never shot with them again because like I had multiple instances to where I felt like it wasn't the same color as advertised and their swatches were different from the not polished swatches so i don't know that kind of turned me off of them but that was a couple years ago like i said i have a couple of like regular nail supplies in my city that sell them for like 11 to 14 dollars depending on are they glow are they glitter whatever what collection so i would say check if you have a local nail supply check but if not, then yeah, that they definitely do sell it. Just, just don't hesitate to reach out to them if the you know something happens. He said, "Okay, thanks for letting me know." Yeah, it was very odd. Like I had to communicate with them back and forth, like for a while before it was all solved. And then like for those who do buy them in store, just know that like your nail supply may not have every single color that Not Polish offers. There's a lot of colors on their website that you 
can't buy. Like even though somewhere else sells it, they there's certain colors that they won't have. And then there are some colors that are changed. Like, I don't know. Cause they do sell polishes as well. So like I bought the color Sinful, which is like a jadish light green type of situation, right? And unfortunately that color and the color uh it's called i don't know tropa tropical if you've had those shades for a while and you're looking to re-up just know those shades are no longer as vibrant and when i reached out to not polish it was basically because they're matching them like they some colors you can't get the polish to match the powder so it's easier to match the powder to the polish um but that's like neither here nor there i'm just saying that just because if you haven't re-upped in quite some time just know that you might have to swap out some of your swatches and that's like that's just not polished overall that has nothing to do with like any specific store it's just some of their colors the formula is changed to match the polish color so it's just kind of like an interesting tidbit So this is like still my same like filing routine basically. It's just it's much easier to file and shape them because like once you shape the tips and as long as your application is good, there's not really too much to it after that. So I'm like, I don't know how some of those old like back in the day sets look so much like marshmallow puffs because <laughs> i don't know like, i don't know what they were doing but it was good for the time but like it's like once you do the finishing file on any shape it automatically looks like way more crispy mm -mm -mm. i'm like so excited to finish these like Yes. And be careful not to like overfile because you will file the black from around the cuticles and that's not what you want. So that's why it's important to have like a good layer or you will come across that problem because certain colors like super dark colors, blacks, reds, whites, they all have a tendency based because of the, like the texture of the color or whatever because of the formula it will file away if you don't use a thick enough layer to provide some um, cushion to be able to file and stuff because like the colors are like naturally thin just from like the pigment that they use color the other girl is gonna get because like she wants short so i don't know how short is short mm. i've got a no, super short on my cousin of the duck tips but she's gonna know what she's gonna do. right because i'm pretty sure it's for basic color but i don't know does she gonna want any bling or i've never actually even met her before so she's gonna be a first timer so i'm assuming she probably has not had duck nails before okay so So I'm just going to do this one just like quick because I feel like that was kind of quick that for it to like be fully dry. So I'll go back in later. I just don't want to file nothing off in case. So you want to make sure the C curve is cool. Some people like it like 
really looking like a damn moon half circle but i just do it to adjust the thickness not to not for any like particular style you know uh, okay you can switch the hands okay shaping is super easy you just want to we're just literally cleaning up what we did so you can see how easy boom and then i just like to go over top personally because this is how i ensure the nails are like smooth and and all that structure is right Last thing you want is a bumpy, lumpy duck nail. So this part is like literally so quick. Cause you don't want to like lessen the, the flare or it's not going to read as a duck nail. It's going to read as like, oh, she didn't shape her square right. <laughs> And that ain't what I'm going for. That's elite. So for the shape, the less you shape, the better. We just want to make sure it fits their like their natural sidewalls, so it can look as natural as possible. As natural as this shape will look, I guess. Uh, in the thumb, you're probably going to have to do, like, a little extra shaping to make sure, like, you know, because a lot of times the, the tips on the thumbs don't fit as well. So you might have some, like, areas of buckling with the acrylic where you had to, like, make up for it, so... See, there ain't nothing to it. And I just thought about it. Like, there's a lot of people scared of duck nails. Like, people who type and stuff, mm -hmm. they do be the most concerned of, like, can I type? And I'm just like, yeah, you'll figure it out. Like, I know. I was like, I won't be able to wear rings, but it's. Literally... Actually, yeah, you. You can totally put rings on. Yeah, because yeah. it's not any thicker than, like, your finger. Yeah, exactly. Like, just don't try and go squeezing nothing that's, like, hella too small. Yeah, definitely. Or maybe, like, all of them won't fit, but, like, you can. That's a good point, man. Yeah, people definitely say that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, you can't have them short. And I'm like, you know, the shorter they go, yeah, the flare is a little different, but, like, they will still be flared. and shapes this looks so velvety it's really easy to type with duck curve with duck and curve that's for me nah yeah i feel like it's not too much harder i do hear that like some people that get like the super straight nails say that like with when they if they ever do wear a curve like you bump into stuff less mm -hmm. i guess like, because the curve kind of, like, wraps against stuff versus just, like, straight up. Yeah. Like, which I guess I can I can understand that. Like, that makes complete sense to me. I would never have to type stuff. She's, like, little pens. I know. I be telling people, I'm like, you know you can, like, take No, I literally just use, like, little, yeah. Yeah. I cannot do it. Yeah, that's the ultimate hack right there. Or, like, trying to put, like, my pen in places. Right. I know, I use my car key when, when I put it in my yeah. But I don't like touching pin number stuff anyway. So. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> I need to get one of the like card clips because I've right. got my card clips. Yeah. I know, I used to have a bunch made and then like so, oops, something fell over and then they got all like lost and I'm just mm. like, dang. Mm -hmm. Woo 
So like as long as you're careful with how much you file the tips, they will all remain the same um, length. Honestly, because like duct tips, they're pretty consistent with each other. I'm not even gonna lie. Or I don't know where other people get theirs, but there's not really too many places to find them. But these particular ones are pretty consistent. But I guess also keep in mind that a lot of duck nails you see on Instagram are not just this straight up tip. They are, I don't know how they do it with the straight nails, but or they attach the very end of one of these tips onto a really long straight nail or, you know, some people might, I don't know, hand flare them out. I don't know what they do, but. Just keep in mind, that's a different process than like what I do. straight tip and cut it halfway and add another tip big ups okay so some of them they do it like the other way because you can do it that way with like curved as well but you know what that makes sense that they do that and probably why the flare is not that much because straight tips are really narrow and skinny mm -hmm. so like if you're trying to build it like how you would with curved nails then yeah you wouldn't get that much of a flare if you're doing like flipping it upside down i've been struggling to find tutorials on duck nails that are semi-medium yeah these are like traditional duck tips that are regular length these are yeah like this is like a full length duck tip basically but that makes sense now that you've explained it. thank you because i hadn't i didn't know what they were doing i know you could do that method but i didn't think they were i know people build it differently when it's longer yeah i personally don't so why she didn't get her pinky done look at it <laughs> like look at her pinky it's not doing well. Both of her pinkies are not doing well. They keep falling off and getting injured. So we made an executive choice. Do you see? So sad. <laughs> because they were hurt from a previous set. Not for me, but she's having some problems. If we put a nail on and she hits it, I think her pinkies are damaged. Well, you are 100% correct. Oh, no. Fun. So, like, if I were to put a nail there, and, like, she was fully aware. Actually, she showed me. and was like, um, oh, let's not. Sad. Yeah. So like if I were to like do something there and she hits it, which already keeps happening to her and that's why they're like this, it would like further rip or damage what she's has left. So that one would like 100% yeah. just like Yeah, this one. I don't need anything yeah. it over. So said I noticed that oh poor pinkies. Yeah. But that's okay. And like pinkies are they're already the most fragile. Like they're the smallest nail. Yeah. When you hit stuff, it's just more painful like um. so uh, so <clears throat> if you get acrylic on someone you can like for the most part like buff a good amount of it off it's like not too serious when they scrub more will come off but that's what i mean like i did not want any like staining this is just like little pieces of acrylic but <sighs> if you know what i mean staining like all in the cuticle area you don't want that I didn't even see that. I'm doing my nails right now. Yeah. Ooh, let's see. This phone is like not very good quality, but that one's busy. Ah, this phone sucks. Like, look at the quality. I don't 
don't have my other one. Okay, that's good enough. Um, okay, here you go, my dear. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I'm recording videos on TV. Polly Jones, Polly Jones. Oh, we're about to look at some charm stuff. Let me, hold on. Let me see what time my next person comes. It's 2.57. Ah, how do I get out of here? Help. You guys, I'm sorry. Hold on. I gotta check my schedule. So that means I get lunch after this. She don't come till 4 30. So I yeah, that's perfect. So we're gonna get some charms and see you guys I don't have any glue dry spray, so this is gonna be an interesting process. We're gonna be struggling a little bit. Depending. Okay, so what 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 kind do you want to take a look at so I can pull some out? Um, I want to see. Okay, so what I was like looking at uh -huh. was like a simplified. I like like this, but without all of the like just the letters. Oh oh, I see. And I don't know if you have any crowns. That's also cute, but uh, you know what? <laughs> Interesting enough. Might be like some random one. I had some out of. Time period. So I gotta take it here. But letter letter wise, I have letters. They are okay. I gotta kinda dig. This is what this the letters would look like. I think that's cute. Okay. Great. I'm trying not to spill anything. It's not the same, but it's it's Yeah, that's like the letters. The... Now <laughs> I mean, if it's too, like... <laughs> I used to have... And, like, all this stuff comes in. You guys, I do have an Amazon storefront on my channel. You'll probably have to go in another video to see it. But I put a crown on someone, like... This was, like, a minute ago. And you might possibly be one. Here. No, I mean, I'm just, like, Ha! Huh. Look at that. There's one. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and the crown she had wasn't even that. But, like, I'm like, I know... This is like my random, like really junky <laughs> one. Nasty. Strawberry. It's a house. And yeah, anyways, I do have like these are in my Amazon storefront for anyone that likes looking for really like junky kawaii stuff yeah that might actually be the only one ah well this is yellow but <laughs> let's see I'm gonna see the one is let me see I'm gonna sift a little further here you hold these I get lucky there's a lot of shit in here. No. I think it's just the one now that I'm looking down in here. That's not a crown. Yep, that's it. It's those two. It was a good try. But yeah, you could also you could do like a different like uh, yeah, or some type like... of Hello Kitty or yeah, Hello Kitty should do. This is yeah, because I guess she just has, like, over the... But I don't know. I feel like if I just do, like, juicy and then, like, a crown? Yeah, you definitely could. Or, I don't know. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, you can definitely do that. Let's see. Oh, that's flowers. Yeah. You can do that. All right. Let me swap these out. So there's like stuff that's in this box, uh, also my Amazon storefront. So like crosses, these letters, which I always buy off of Amazon in these numbers. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to sort. This is a C. That's a C. This is an I, I think. Is it? No, this is not. Nope, L. Is that M? I. This is J. Ah. There we go. There's definitely got to be a Y in here because. Oh, and a U. I'm sure. Because like those are already the least used ha huh. look at look at this look at how this is working out i talked it j u no no j okay we need a u i think this is a u or is this a o oh neither that is a g okay so <laughs> there at the bottom uh what's this a d no. Another C. Is this? Oh no, that's a straight up O. Another D. Oh. Alright. Ha! Beautiful. Yep. Juicy. And if you guys know anything about me, I love using letters and numbers. I think they're so cute. So, like, people don't use them enough, and I think that's because they're not, like, super popular on Instagram. So, people don't see them a lot, so people don't think they're that cute anymore. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, I guess it'll be this. But which, yeah, which like fingers? J U I C Y. Okay. And then the crown. I don't know if I should put the crown on the same as the Y or like the one next. I don't know. We can figure it out. Okay, yeah. you want it at the tip? Um, like the picture or a smack middle? What's cuter? Uh, I like the tip. I feel like it's cute. Tip's good. Okay. So this is the crucial part, because centering letters <laughs> that are oddly shaped can be difficult. Ah, 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 see what I'm saying, see what I'm saying. J. And then if you didn't know, uh, darker colors like blacks, red, all that. Listen, the way glue will get into these little things if you're not careful all the scratches it's not fun to deal with and it does take away from the look sometimes if you're not careful so J U I. yes and also i don't have any really any glue spray glue dry oh so it's to be rolling on every side but the right thing. So I'm like using the glue kind of sparingly because the more glue you use, the longer it takes to dry. For those of you who don't know. 
J U I. C Y. Which fingers? Um, these two. So I use Mia Secret resin glue instead of like the normal um, thing just because it's like thicker and it doesn't dry as flat fast. That is also on my Amazon storefront. Okay, and then the crown now that you see. Uh, can you like put it on or like like on the Y? I mean yeah, over like the Y? Over it or will it fit? Yeah, I mean, it will. It just depends, like, where do you... Do you want, like, directly over it? I don't know. Oops, you can have directly. You can have it up here, but tilted. Uh, um, have it all the way up here. I kind of like directly over it. Like, middle? Or, oh, sorry. No, or, like, should I do it on the next nail? I don't know. Well, next nail. What do you think? I can't I can't draw. Well, I mean, if you did it on this nail, it would, like, it's finish off, even. like, finish yeah. off the look since That's you only right. have... Okay, what area? Do you want, like, top... Um, tip, um, middle. Um, I think the middle's cute. Okay. Do you want at an angle or straight up? Um, straight. Okay. Because you are missing two nails, so. Okay. Yes. So. How's that? Cute. Okay. So I'm gonna go back, make sure the stuff stay on. So cute. This is my type of set. I feel like it looks like I did this set. <laughs> I love doing nails that look like someone came to me for them. Mm -hmm. It's like great when they look like they belong on your page. <laughs> hmm, so the girl who did your junk nails, you said the nails popped off but the charm stayed on. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> all the time. Just, and all the nails popped out. I just thought about so that. So you had your own set of press-ons. No, literally, yeah. I... Did you keep them? The nails? Yes. Uh, for I had like a pile of the nails that I kept because they cute. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not. What am I gonna do with these? I like tried to glue one back on, and it just absolutely was not. Damn. They're so heavy and like just the glue did not. Oh. So like I said, I'm being extra careful because I do not want the glue to sink into any of these scratches because on like dark colored nails, it will sink in and it will show. So I'm like trying to strategically seal these stuff on there. You could just spend like honestly a really, really long time buffing, but who wants to do that? Like over time, you just find ways to, you know, or if you're a person that uses like um gel then you could just top coat and then gel them on but i just i use glue so for those of you who use glue and we're gonna attempt with what non ex well okay there's like no there's we're gonna try we're gonna try anyway oh wow blessings blessings amazing that's all we need so we can talk <laughs> dude i've been stretching that empty bottle for quite some time now and this top coat is gonna do the job anyway
because it's gonna like extra seal because it's so thick so doesn't matter okay you see what i mean oh there's like random i don't want that so any areas where it looks like the glue sinks in i'm just gonna like buff that basically And then if it still shows through, then I will go in and just like file that one part after it's dry and then I'll just reapply. So you can kind of see like y'all see how the polish get around and all that so basically this polish is already like slightly thicker but i use it with charms and bling so much that it kind of permanently mixes with the glue kind of so it makes it even thicker which is why i only use this when i do bling and charms because like i don't want i don't know when there's not any it don't it's not like the most seamless to be using on like a plain set you get what i mean so that's where I use this one, which is on my Amazon storefront. But you could just get it at your nail supply. But for those of you who don't have any, you know. So we're gonna do two minutes because this one is two minutes. The red top is two minutes. And we need everything to cure the right way. So. It's three fifteen. She got here at what is your appointment? One forty. One forty. So that should give you guys an estimate. Um, how long it took to do this set from start to fit from the time she came in here and we said all our hellos and everything so, uh, so like i said i have one more duck set later so i'll be recording that for youtube so i'll most likely be posting it tomorrow morning because i might be going somewhere tonight so. Take that out. I'm 
so glad you like. Go for two minutes. Wonderful. Super cute. Okay. Yes. Right. Next time. Right. Definitely do jump next time. I feel like, like <laughs> yes. really. Yes. I agree. Oh, well. So now we're drying, so we will see the final result in just a second. <laughs> so I'm going to clean up, throw all this stuff away, put this in my soil container. Interesting game because I know my father's gonna die. And I think I'm doing toes next, actually, if I'm not mistaken. So, once again, this is the black. And now keep in mind, there's more than one not polished black. There is one that's not called black but looks just as black in the jar. I feel like that one might have a slight shimmer. So, make sure you're using actual like black because they have one that's like starry night or like mr lonely or something like that it might look the same but i haven't used them but i feel like something is different mm. oh this flavor is so good if any of y'all drink these y'all these yeah oh ha okay Day. Ooh, these videos are gonna be cute. Day. Okay, so you guys can see. Sec took about well, I don't know. You guys see the time here? An hour and a half or something. I don't freaking know. Anyways, juice. Oh, we're not in frame. Juicy, juicy. Appreciate you guys for watching. This is the final result, and I will see you guys in the next one.